as unconditional and inexhaustible as a well. However, when the child turns into an adult and tries to carry that love to others, it will merely slip through his tiny hands and dry in the dust. Time doesn't heal all wounds. You just get used to the pain. Nor does it forgive us our sins. It merely brushes them away into some dusty corner of the mind to be forgotten. What did he see with his innocent, clear eyes? Oh, we don't live in the present. We live in the past. The present is what we call our future, turning into a memory. Hey, Al, you up there? That you, Phil? Come on up. I was wondering if you'd join me for a cup of Good Morning America. Well, enough for me. Uh, help yourself, though. I'm putting the final touches to my latest masterpiece. Okay. Hmm. Masterpiece, huh? Heard about painting what you see and not what you think you see? I only paint what I want to see. I don't know. Apples, flowers, trees. Trees and flowers just don't sell. Then those Sunflower sold for $50 million. But he's been dead for the past hundred years. The only truly bankable painter is a dead one. Law of supply and demand. <laughs> so, Al, what am my proposition? I've told you already, Bill, I'm not going to sell any more paintings. There's still a demand for your stuff. Uh, could make a tidy little retirement fund. Yeah, with you making a healthy 10%. This isn't so bad. It's got a sort of kind of money feeling to it. Bill, it's money, not money. <laughs> That's what I said, money. <laughs> oh. I totally forgot. This is why I came over here. For me? Came to my old office. It's addressed to you. Okay. I guess Bob Russ makes a decent living doing this stuff. But he's got the whole hippie ankle working for him. What with his happy little clouds? And that here. Yeah. Great PR. Al? Al, what's wrong? It's from my son. You never told me you had a son. That's because I tried to forget I did. Just try. Try to make me understand. Please, Maria. Don't make it harder than it already is. Harder for you? Harder for you? Yes. I can't explain it to you, but if I stay here, I'm never gonna paint. I'm never gonna do it. It's... I don't think that you should go and leave your child and me alone. I'm sorry. Please, don't do this. I have to be, I have to know. Look, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't understand why you feel you have to leave. I don't understand why this came out of nowhere. I tried to explain, but it's, it's just... What? What? Not 
So that you're going to wake David. You never paint his face. I don't know what he looks like. Was he at your mother's funeral? Oh, he may have been. If he was, I didn't see him. You ever see any of his work? Yeah, I saw the last show he did. Any good? Quite liked it. My music box broke this morning. That's because you opened it too often. If I was the slightest bit superstitious, I'd think this was an omen. <laughs> Good or bad? I don't know. I'm not superstitious. You better get going. You sure you don't want to come? I think it should be just the two of you. You'll have plenty to talk about. Or nothing at all. I'm a little scared. I'm sorry about the box. It's all right. It was old anyway. David? Dad. How have you been? All right. You've grown old. Sixty-five years? That's a long time. Uh, just coffee, please. Your letter took me a little by surprise. Had a job finding you. You're not listed. How'd you get Bill's address? A show. Gutman Gallery, 1978. <laughs> Commercial sensationalist trash. <laughs> Saw the last show you did a few years ago. Some small gallery down in Soho. I don't remember the name. After that, I decided I wanted to see you. Really? Why? Something in the paintings. There's a certain warmth I hadn't seen before. I didn't believe it was the work of a man who would leave his family without a reason. I just want you to know, David, it wasn't in my intention to hurt you or your mother. Just a rather unfortunate side effect. People are always doing things that hurt the ones they love. I grew up feeling alone, waiting for something that never turned up. Never figured out why you left. I'm not so sure I care. I'm not getting younger. 
Every year, my circle of friends dwindles. More and more, I wonder about the choices I've made. Whether you made the right ones? Whether I've made the best ones. You're not always aware that you've hurt others until you get hurt yourself. Do you remember this? I gave it to you on your sixth birthday. It's broken now. Broke this morning. Excuse me. I'll be right back. years now. I noticed the paint on your hands. Also the ring. Two years. My name's Claudia. Do you ever show your work? I've had a few shows. I'm thinking of getting a real job. Joining the real world. My family is going to be my first priority. Family? Yes. Due in six months. You'll let me know if it's a boy or a girl? Sure. I'd like that. I'd like that very much. Well... <clears throat> I guess... Claudia is probably waiting up for me. Go home to her. We'll see each other again. Sure. Well, we'll get together soon. You have my number in the letter. Give me a call. I'll keep in touch. Do you mind if I just look at you for a moment? Not at all. Goodbye, Dad.
Last night, I dreamt thousands of warm and tender laces entirely covered my body. Things once lost were once again found. I felt at peace with myself. <laughs>